We've all watched movies. But have you ever watched a movie on weed? Because you may need to if you want to get through this one. Let's talk about it. Prisoners of the Ghost Land, directed by Sion Sono. And the story goes like this. In Samurai Town, a ruthless bank robber gets sprung from jail by a warlord whose adopted granddaughter has gone missing. Strapped into a leather suit that will self-destruct in five days, the bandit sets off on a journey to find the young woman. And as always, there will be slight spoilers, but not the ending. Nah. Man, where to start? Where to start? I'm going to say this straight up. I can't rate this movie because it's too damn weird. This is like a spaghetti western meets a samurai. Certain parts feel like this movie called Sukiyaki Western Django. Other times it feels like Mad Max. And this other film, it also feels like this other one called Bunraku. And they put them all in the blender and voila, you get Prisoners of the Ghost Land. <laughs> The movie focuses on two towns. One is Samurai Town, where it's all colorful, beautiful, mixture of cowboys and samurai and geisha. Oh my. The other town is called Ghostland, where all the forgotten are taken to. The place looks and feels something like out of a Mad Max movie or something. From the way that people look, to the look and feel of the actual town as well. And how does Nicolas Cage fit in this story? Well... He's a prisoner in, in Samurai Town because of a bank heist gone bad. The governor, played by the Devil's Rejects own Bill Mosley, who runs the town, hires Nick Cage to find his granddaughter in order to gain his freedom. But is forced to wear a suit that has bombs attached, including some connected to his nuts. Side note, the governor is an evil dude and he considers all the geisha his slaves and calls them granddaughters. Really strange, right? Anyways, so here's a bit of a spoiler. When Once Nick Gage is given instructions, he's given a car, right? He gets in the car, busts a few donuts spinning around and whatnot, and it begins to drive off, but then stops the car, gets out, and hops on a kitty bike and rides off. I kid you not. I nearly turned the fucking movie off, dude, when I saw this. I was like, what? But luckily, eventually was forced to use the car, so they righted that wrong real fast. But that just tells you how fucking strange this movie is, though. Dude, look at this outfit. It's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's be real. This shit is ridiculous. Anyhow, it doesn't take Cage long to find the granddaughter, played by Kingsman's own Sophia Butella. And it's in the ghost town. And this is where all the craziness begins. Alright, dude. <laughs> this has to be one of the funkiest and strangest movies I've ever seen. The dialogue is just bizarre. The movie is visually amazing, though. I mean, look at this shit, man. This shit is off the wall. Beautiful and then crazy. Beautiful. I mean, look at this, dude. Nicolas Cage. His name is Hero. He goes crazy just the way we like it sometimes, so that's that's cool. Definitely some off comedic parts. Action, obviously, as well. Long, drawn-out scenes. Some wild-ass characters that you see right here. Check this shit out. Look at this. After watching this, I'm seriously under the impression that in the script, they wrote bullet points for Cage and just let him say whatever the hell he wanted once they <laughs> once they said action. And, I mean, because some of the shit he said made no damn sense, but that goes to almost anybody else in the movie as well. The strange part is I could not stop watching. The bizarreness and oddities just kept me engaged. And I just couldn't look away. <laughs> it's not like it's a great movie or a bad one. It's like somewhere in between. I feel most people who watch this will say it sucks, makes no sense, and the characters are strange. The town is strange. I mean, which I agree with. But then some people will enjoy it for those same reasons, actually. It's a it's a weird one. I'm, I'll be honest with you. I probably won't ever watch this one again. But it was okay for what it was. But I will say this. I would recommend you get a really nice, strong drink and get buzzed before watching this. And I think you'll find it a little more enjoyable. So, watch this at your own risk. And it's available on iTunes and Voodoo. Anyhow, 
Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel because on a Don't Split Up channel, hell has never been so. Ooh. Shane Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Would you steal a car? No. Would you steal a computer? No. Would you steal a purse? No. Would you steal a TV? No. Have you subscribed to the Don't Split Up channel yet? No. Viewing without subscribing is a dick move. Don't be a dick. Subscribe. Click and subscribe. It's free.